We are blessed. Yes, yes, blessed. <laughs> I man. am blessed. Um, out here <laughs> Feeling where? very blessed. At Venice? We at Venice? We yeah. in Venice. Okay. We are in Venice today. Okay, so could you tell the audience what your name is? My name is Thander So. What you do? I am an aspiring actress. Okay, and where you're from? I am from Los Angeles. Hey, now. Born and okay. raised, LA baby, all the way. Right, right, so you're native. <laughs> yes. Ah, ah, tell me about that. Um, it's great. It's a melting pot of just every race and culture. And honestly, I, I couldn't pick a better place to grow up. I mean, you just got everybody. You learn so many different, you know, cultures. Right. Uh, ethnicities right. um, different backgrounds different walks of life yeah. and you really get like a full international type of experience rather mm -hmm. than you know some places where you grow up and it's just predominantly a certain you know type of hurt people or something like that you right. know what I mean so you come out to Venice and we've got so much eclectic people you got you know the crazies the weirdos yeah. all the you know highs and lows of everybody right. um, and then you go out to like different parts of the city and they got all the little pockets but LA man, it's just amazing. I right. mean, it's so a, you would say LA is very diverse. It's very, very diverse. diverse, super diverse. Right, yeah. a melting pot. It is complete melting pot. Even right. myself, I'm first generation born here. Right. Uh, my parents and my grandparents migrated from Burma, which is you know we're a very minority out here. So okay. you know it's nice to talk about this. So tell me about that. What? It, so just elaborate on that. Um, well, so my my grandparents came over here first, and then they brought over. My uh, parents, obviously from Burma, they're okay. they're all. Where's know, Burma? Burma for, is for a, people who wouldn't know. Right, Burma is a, actually now known as Myanmar. Okay. Uh, it's formerly known as Burma, so a lot of people that that have been grown up there or known there's still Burma, but you know. I guess if you want to look on the map, it might say Myanmar instead. Oh, God. But uh, it's right next to Thailand, Southeast Asia. We have a lot of, uh, you know, British influences because we're colonized by the British. But we are bordered to Thailand, China, uh, you know, uh, Cambodia. So there's a lot of uh, influences in between. But our biggest influence is probably like Chinese, Thai, and in and uh, India. Uh, um, so kind of a fusion of that. Nice, nice. Um, what made your, uh, your 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 family want to come over? Um, you know, it's just new opportunities. Yeah. You know, my grandfather was in the military, and he figured, you know, this is the best way to come out here. So uh, he had six kids, and, you know, they came out here That's one awesome. by one yeah. and started a life. Uh, you know, they came out, you know, different ages, and apparently, you know, like between the, the siblings and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There were different ages. But, um, you know, they all came out here, and my grandparents, you know, they worked in the factory and, you know, build their way up and try to live the whole American dream, which, okay. you know, so we're, we're blessed to be here so now. So what is the American dream then? I if guess the American the dream, right? Everybody yeah. wants to know why they come here. Yeah. Everyone comes here. Well, you know, America, I mean, we're the land of the free. Everyone has opportunity. It doesn't right. matter where you come from. It's right. not like, you know, we're put back or set back by any type of... Uh, you know, government or restraints or, you know, right. things like Not that. Not a dictatorship. Not a dictatorship. Right. You know, as much as, uh, you know, we have our controversies here, there's a lot more opportunity and a lot more help that you get in some of these places. And, um, you know, also just, I mean, you can't find a better place that you have great weather, yes. great, you know, climate for everything that you would want to do. I yes. mean, everything that you can possibly ask for is here, okay. you know, versus uh, out there where, you're, you know, you're in the middle of nowhere, third world country. You know, you're basically, you know, looking to how to survive for the next day. I mean, we all try to look to survive here well. as well. But uh, I think the elements are just a little more against it than here where we have opportunity. But, you know, it's a dream, you know, like right, we come right, out right. here, we see movie stars, right. you know, and we see the walk of fame and you see people that come from all walks of life that all of a sudden, you know, made, a, made it for themselves. And right. we all aspire to want to leave our mark. With that being said, so do you think sometimes Hollywood can put on a, a little bit of blinders to people who are not from California though? Oh, definitely. Definitely. There are a lot of blinders. You know, you have the perception and yeah, a lot of like people come here. Yeah, like they think the streets are paved to go. Right. Everybody thinks, you know, come to Hollywood and we're going to be, you know, walking the, you know, the, the walk of fame, right. you know, and it's just going to be, bam, I'm, I'm going to be it. And it's really not. I mean, it really isn't. It's a struggle and, you know, you work hard and, you know, every now and then you get it, you catch a big break, you know, and right, 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 you get right. it there. But um, overall, you know, Hollywood does, you know, I mean, 
it's movies. What do you expect? You know, we, we want to see fantasy. Right. So, we, you know, we're selling a dream, unfortunately. But, True. you know, when you really get to kind of really know what L.A., the heart of L.A. is, yeah. uh, you really get to see the culture and the life. Right. And, you know, there's great... Um, you know, certain cinematographers and other, you know, people that really want to show the story. Yeah, so I'm not, yeah. you know, dismissing any because there's great um, artists out there that yes. really try to portray what true life is right. in any aspect, whether it's, you know, in L.A. or a different country or a different culture. Right, right. So, you know, those are uh, awesome. It's, so it's not always just a fantasy or dream, you right, know, right, right. but, we, you know, somebody, like it, real, there are certain people out there that show the realness right. of it. So you can get a different perspective. Right. Yes. So, you know, it's I all agree. about everyone's different perception, you know. Yeah. Uh, it's all in the eye of the beholder. Um, yeah, you know? But I actually think it's good to talk to people who are natives. Right. Because you get a different perspective from people who have lived here their whole lives. Because I've noticed that most people who come here are very bitter. Yeah. They're very bitter. And they're bitter towards the people who live here. And I, I don't think that's necessarily right. I, 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 I feel you on that. I feel you on that because yeah. it, I, I, uh, growing up here, obviously, you know, you meet a lot of foreigners and people that come in yeah. and they, you know, from different states or different countries. Right. And they're like, oh, you know, LA is so this and that. And I'm right. like, you know what? And the one thing I, I honestly always tell people is like, Look, if you really meet somebody that's born and raised here in LA, right. we are not like that. Not we are all. the coolest, most humble, you know, down to earth people that there is. Sure. And um, it's the people that come over here and they're like, oh, I live in Hollywood. But you're like, well, where'd you grow up? And they're right. like, oh, you know, somewhere Michigan. else. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like wherever it may be. Right. And it's like, oh, well, okay, you're not really a native. You're you're not born with our roots or our, the culture. Right. You come in and you have that perception, you know, right. and there goes that perception, that dream that everybody's like, oh, you know, I'm going to play that role. Yeah. And when they don't make it, they get a bitter sense. And so when you talk to other people and they want to you know say oh yeah i'm from la just because you've lived here for you know four five six years ten years and then all of a sudden you're like oh i'm i'm an la person you know right, i'm right. i was uh, you know this is my hood and it's like yeah, yeah. no 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 you buddy. see that a lot though no i see you it see all the lot. time all yes. the time and it, it honestly gives us a bad name because yes. it really does and it hurts and when i'm like okay no i was born and raised here i could tell you you know what schools and this and that and everything this that and the third right. and see the people that have been running these streets and right. have been stomping these grounds for years and uh, you have people that will come and then they say oh yeah well i know the same thing it's like no you know the the hollywood the hollywood, the hollywood facade, facade right. of things like yeah. you know but when you could get down to the real of it it's it's another lifestyle it's another you know there's a core to it and uh, okay. when you really um are open to you know learning that and, and seeing that and not be so bitter because you thought you'd come out here with a dream and you're just gonna boom make it right. because everybody seems like they're doing it big right, out here right. uh and you know what i mean that bubble so to speak gets bursted yes you can't be mad at the world you know yes. you have to come out here with a real um idea a realness of, of what to expect and the you right. know real expectations yes. and you know a realness of what happens and Very that's true. one thing with LA like you know we've seen so much you know we see nothing we, surprises, nothing you, surprises yeah. you no more you know we see yeah. the you know the the craziness that you see on TV happen all the time you see down the street that they're you know filming stuff you see the behind the scenes so we right. see it all and so we kind of like all right and well you can't you can't yeah. kind of play with us yeah, you can't all. you can't hide and try to trick you us with that like trickery every trick of the trade. right yeah. so it's a little different of a beast in that sense yeah. when you when we when when we come at it versus other people that try to play that role yeah. and then like fill in, you yeah. know. So um, unfortunately, yeah, it, it, it sucks because that has been a battle right. for you know a long while. Well, we, we we definitely thank you for you know expressing those thoughts and ideas because I think a lot of people need to hear that so they can get a different idea of what LA is versus oh, yeah. what they see on TV. The best thing I can say is come to LA, experience it yourself with an open mind and open heart, and you know really just enjoy the 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 nature of everything you know the vibes of everything really come in and and really feel the spirit and the heart of it and not just like the facade of things you know